Hey guys, how you doing? VT Meister here. Hope all is well. Outside today, I'm going to clean the uh, pellet stove pipe. Uh, I usually like to get out and do it when it's uh, when we find a warm day in December, and then once in March. Basically, after every ton I burn, I always clean the stove pipe. But this is the first time I've done it this season. And it's March 11th, 2016. So let's go ahead here and take a look at the uh, pellet stove pipe and see what we got going on here. This, this may not be. Uh, too good. All right, it's just what I thought. Check out this obstruction here. You zoom in here. See that? It's all pellet ash, and it's taking it up at least 50% of the pipe. So it's not good. It's um, it's really terrible for the efficiency of the stove. And I should have gotten out here before to uh, clean this out. But I'm going to go ahead use my uh, pellet stove vacuum right here, and um, go ahead and clean that out. Here's also the I took off, you can see that. You guys can see in there completely blocked now I probably push some of it back there or else you know, the ash can um, escape and be sent out so that's my job right now remove all that ash all right YouTube check this out much much better so yeah it's a nice clean pipe now so the moral of the story here is keep those uh, stove pipes clean, all right? Pellet stove, chimneys, wherever it may be, because uh, you're going to have less efficiency and uh, possibility of fire. Just want to mention the uh, other thing you can do is you can just pull the whole pipe out too. If I just cut the uh, silicon here, pull the pipe out, empty it too, and then re-silicon. But uh, I find it's uh, I just like it better when I vacuum the pipe and I don't have to do any cutting and extra work. All right, YouTube, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, subscribe, comments, thumbs up, all appreciated, and we'll catch you next time.